A while back, I decided I wanted to pick up a teleprompter uh, to use when I'm recording specific YouTube videos, like tutorials, reviews, or uh, similar type of content like that, where I'm sitting down and I'm talking directly to the camera, like this now. Uh, one of the biggest reasons I decided to buy a teleprompter is because a lot of times those type of videos, they require you to get your point across precisely while also keeping them as short as possible. You don't want to waste people's time by constantly repeating things that you've already said. And nobody wants to sit through a tutorial where the person given the tutorial is repeating the same stuff over and over. Unlike normal videos, tutorials are not for entertainment. You see, before a teleprompter, I would simply turn on my camera and start talking. And while I think there is a time and a place for that in certain videos that that works well for, I realized that I was never actually preparing for my videos by writing any type of storyboard or script. And a lot of times my videos would end up being much longer because of that than what they needed to be. Because again, I'd repeat the same stuff over and over and over. I tried just using a teleprompter app on my cell phone and then placing my phone as close to the camera as possible using a device like this that allows me to mount two different things, a camera and a holder for my cell phone next to it onto one tripod. And while it did help me stay on track and not repeat things unnecessarily, it looks really weird to be always glancing just off to the side of the screen reading the teleprompter versus looking directly into the camera lens. You see, that's where an actual teleprompter comes in. It allows you to place a two-way two -way mirror right on the lens of your camera that then allows you to see words on one side yet allows your camera to record through the other side without seeing any of those words that you're looking at. Specifically, I decided to try out the Parrot Padcaster as it works with any smartphone and is quite inexpensive at just 99 US dollars. If any of you guys know me yet, you know that I love a good budget friendly option. So today, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Parrot Padcaster and hopefully I'm able to help you decide if it's a great buy for you. Roll the intro. Welcome back to the channel, friends. If you're a regular around these parts, don't forget to drop a like and leave a hashtag down in the description or down in the comments below to let me know who you are. If you're new around here and you like videos and tutorials related to videography, like this one, uh, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button below and ring the bell next to it to be notified when I post new videos. Also, I stream on Twitch pretty regularly, uh, so if you have any questions or feedback about today's video or any other video you see on my site, uh, feel free to drop in and say hello when you see me live. The link, as always, will be down in the description below. All right, now that we got the formalities out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I wanna do is head into my living room where I have everything set up to unbox the Parrot Padcaster and show you exactly what you get if you decided to purchase it for yourself. If you do decide you wanna purchase it, again, links are always down in the description below. All right, let's head into the living room and unbox this thing. All right, guys, so before we jump into the review of the Padcaster Parrot Teleprompter, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick unboxing just to show you guys what you guys get if you were to purchase this as well. So let's go ahead and dive into the box here. Uh, packaging, you know, I like it. It's white, you know, simple. Let you know what you get. Got the branding on it, looks neat. A uh, simple box that opens up. First thing you got is your warranty card. Looks like a little quick user guide. Yep, a little quick start guide in it. As well as a cleaning kit, which gives you a little blower, a little uh, microfiber cloth, stuff like that, which is nice as well. Got a little pouch here. These are the step-up rings, so depending on uh, what lens you're using, uh, you know, different lenses have different mounting rings that allow you to then attach this to it. Uh, we call these step up and step down rings. You use them a lot when you're using uh, ND filters or things like that. Uh, so it comes with a whole series of that to fit a wide variety of lenses so that you're able to use this system no matter what type of lens uh, you're using on your camera. And then we have the actual box, the unit, uh, which has a nice cover that you can flip down and up to 
or slides off, I guess. Uh, and then that's the actual glass that you then have that goes over the camera that the camera can then see through the glass, but then you see the words from your smartphone uh, on the glass on the other side. Uh, what that does is basically so that you're not looking away from the camera lens, but you're actually looking directly into the camera lens, uh, which is a lot better uh, than trying to read something slightly off the camera, as it's very noticeable even if you have it right next to the camera. And I'm sure in the review, I'll show you guys some examples of that. All right. And then it also looks like it comes with a Bluetooth remote control compatible both with iOS and Android uh, that just basically if you're using an app on your cell phone, uh, this connects to your cell phone that you're using, um, you know, to display the words on your screen. Uh, and you can then pause and play the words, stop them, go back a little bit if you need to, all that stuff. So really cool as well. And uh, that's it. So now we're gonna go ahead and head into the office in the back and jump into the actual review of this unit, of myself using it for a while and what I actually think of it. All right, let's jump into the office. All right, guys, we are back in the office and now I wanna go through my thoughts on the Parrot Padcaster after using it to record videos a few different times. First, just let me say I would 100% buy this product again. While there are definitely some things I don't like about it, for 99 US dollars, this thing is great and it does exactly what I needed to and works perfectly for a YouTuber looking to upgrade their game a bit. So in this part of the video, I'll go through what I love about this thing and then I'll share the things that I'd like to see improved on in the next version. With that said, this is version ADOS of the Parrot Padcaster and not the first version, which I know had a couple issues of its own. There's a fly flying around my office. What the fuck? The biggest pro to this device, honestly, is that for the $99 that you pay for it, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It displays words on a piece of glass directly in front of your camera's lens, allowing you to keep eye contact with your audience while reading your script. While this seems like a simple concept, it always surprises me how many products just don't quite live up to the hype and do what it is that they're supposed to do. It's not the most well-made product. Some parts of it, some of the plastic pieces can seem a little fragile, uh, although I've never actually had any issues with it yet. So it's hard to say if they're actually fragile or not, but for $99, it shows you words that the camera doesn't see and doesn't seem to reduce the quality of the video in any way, which is what's important. Version one, of the Parrot Padcaster cost 149 US dollars. So I'm definitely glad to see that the price was dropped to 99 uh, because at that price, the quality fits the cost in my opinion. Uh, so you don't feel upset about the couple parts that seem a little fragile. Another thing that I love about this product is that it's super compact and works on almost any lens as the product comes with 13 different step-up rings for the most common lens sizes. It also works with any smartphone, even if the phone is larger than the Parrot Padcaster's mirror, uh, the text can be adjusted in the Parrot Teleprompter app or most other teleprompter apps that exist. Again, the biggest pro for me is the fact that it just works and I haven't noticed any issues in any of my recordings, uh, you know, any kind of downside which makes it worth every penny, in my opinion. However, as I said, there are a couple things that I'd love to see improved on uh, in the next version of this product, that is, if they decide to release a version three. I've not actually heard anything about this yet. The biggest complaint I have uh, is that you must have about a 24 millimeter lens or higher on the camera. When I had my wide angle lens, my Canon 10 to 18 millimeter, uh, the Parrot's hood would actually show up in the corners of the shot. I do normally like using a nice wide angle lens to have the camera as close as possible to me since most of the times I use a shotgun mic on top of my camera. Actually because of this and since I had to use 24 millimeters, I now end up wearing a lapel mic uh, when I'm doing these type of videos where I require a teleprompter and to be honest, I actually like using a lapel better. So I guess in the end, it was a win-win. The second biggest complaint is the stupid fucking Bluetooth remote that comes with it. 
Yeah, I said stupid fucking remote. It was such a great idea and it works perfectly with absolutely no issues when it comes to connectivity or anything like that. It's a great fucking remote. However, it clicks so damn loud every time you press a button. I mean like, am I using this device to record a video or am I using this device to take a picture with my camera? A video. And so you tell me you make this great remote and then the damn thing clicks that loud. Needless to say, I ended up getting a different Bluetooth remote. All right, enough bitching about that. Lastly, as I said, there are parts that seem pretty fragile. Uh, and the piece that feels that way most is the actual smartphone holder on the bottom of it. The plastic feels super flimsy, like you could actually snap it uh, if you put too much pressure on it. And the part that's actually contacting your phone to hold it in place doesn't have any type of protective rubber, which means the plastic is pressing directly on your phone's glass as the parrot, uh, you know, compacts the two pieces together to hold your phone. Personally, if they came out with a version three of this product, I would love to see some kind of small rubber bumpers just to help protect your phone from scratches, the lens on your phone. Uh, my suggestion is when opening the holder, also pull down from the sides where the actual spring mechanics are and not directly in the middle of the plastic piece where it might snap. My last tip would be to use a different teleprompter app. While I don't necessarily have any big issues with Parrot's app in general, uh, it works pretty well overall, uh, I did end up downloading Elegant Teleprompter based on the recommendations of Tim Ferriss when I was listening to one of his podcasts. And to be honest, I now highly recommend that app as well. I think it does anything and everything you need when it comes to a teleprompter app. Overall, as I said at the beginning of the review part of this video, even with those couple quirks, uh, I'd still 100% buy this product again, and I think it's a great bang for your buck. Uh, did you even realize I used it during this whole video? That I've been reading from a script this entire time? Now, that does take some practice, and maybe you did notice, because you do have to learn to write in the way you speak, instead of writing how you were taught to write in a very fancy type manner. Because you have to make it sound like it's just you connecting with your audience. So there is an art and a skill in that as well. But if you can do that, reading from a teleprompter can actually still sound quite natural, in my opinion, while reaping all of the benefits. All right, guys, with that said, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button. It helps me out tremendously, means the world to me. Again, if you enjoy videos related to videography like this one, uh, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button below. Ring the bell next to it to be notified when I post new videos. Also, as I said earlier, if you have any other questions about the Parrot Podcaster, I do live stream regularly on Twitch, so feel free to drop in and ask away. Links, as always, for the third time in this video, down in the description below. And until next time, Peace out, everybody. Uh -huh.